What's the best way to display our model collection? Hi, welcome back to St Blazy Model World. Well, this time out we're looking at how to display our models. And you might be thinking, well, we don't need a video for that, surely. We just chuck them on a shelf. Well, not quite. There's a few things that really need to be considered if we're going to show our models in the best way possible. So I thought we'd do a quick video about that. Hope you'll enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, welcome on in. Please remember to like, comment and of course subscribe. Now, just before we go too much further, I would like to say that uh, the next video out in two weeks time will be focusing back on real railways. We're going to have a look at some railway infrastructure couple of level crossings, some signals and a few other bits and pieces. OK, back to the matter in hand, displaying our models. First and foremost, of course, we've got a display cabinet and that's the, one of the usual ways to display your models if you don't have your own model railway that's up and running. Or indeed any other diorama to display road vehicles or military items. This particular cabinet has a glass front which has been removed for the purposes of filming but I'm seeing on the camera there's still a few reflections so apologies for that but nonetheless we'll crack on. On the top we've got two rows of uh, model buses and below that we've got a, a rake of freight wagons with a class 08 shunter and these particular models are N-gauge and at the moment they're just sitting on a piece of Pico track it's a piece of uh, flexi track and it works quite well because it does actually give the models some elevation in the cabinet and it means that they at least are displayed in a way that is realistic to how they would operate in real life. And if we just compare that with the bus models, you can see that they're just sitting on the shelves there, the wooden shelves of this cabinet. And whilst they look OK, it doesn't really display them in the best way possible. So just for a minute, let's just focus on this rake of goods wagons. You can see that some of them have been weathered and they've been weathered to varying degrees. But you can also see that in the line of uh, wagons that make up our train here, our rake, they've been arranged so that some of them have been heavily weathered. There's one that hasn't been weathered at all really, right in the middle. And that gives a good focal point to this particular display. There's another one that's uh, perhaps not as weathered and it sits in the middle of two that have been heavily darkened down. Right at the front we've got our 08 shunter, but just to give a point of interest to our display, that shunter is nose on rather than tail on. And again, that all helps to give our rake of models, our, our carriages, our display, a little bit of extra realism. How can we improve that? Well, of course, one thing we could do is add in a backdrop. So let's go and get one, put it in, and we'll see how that changes the view. So there's our temporary backdrop in place. And although it's come straight out of a drawer and has been rolled up for ages, it really does enhance the appearance of our rake of train, uh, goods wagons. So that's one way that we can go about improving the display of our models. But of course, with a display cabinet such as this, you really are quite limited on what you can do to show your models off to the best way possible. There is no getting away from the fact that a diorama or, of course, a working model railway is the best way to show off your model collection. But if you don't have the resources for a model railway or the technical know-how, what else can you do? Well, let's look at one or two alternatives. So if you don't have the money for a display case, what other options do you have? Well, one way forward is to create a simple diorama like this one. And this particular one was the one that I made when I had a look at building a cheap model uh, airfield. But of course, it was an airfield at the time, but now it can be anything we want. And one advantage of a diorama like this is that it, it really is free from scale. There's nothing really here to indicate that this is particularly an N-gauge diorama or a double O-gauge diorama 
176, 150 of scale. It could be absolutely anything really, as long as the vehicle or the models that we want to display can fit on there. Another option for displaying models is to put them onto a shelf. And of course, once we again introduce a simple back scene, the models become much more realistic in their appearance. And that works very well. And of course, most houses have shelves, and particularly if you're a younger modeler, maybe you can uh, plug mum or dad into letting you have one put up or uh, even making use of one that doesn't really have much on it at the moment. If the models that we're going to display on our shelf are of different scales, then it works quite well. And in this example, we've got an N-gauge train at the front, some double O gauge or 176 scale model buses in the middle, and then a couple of 150 of scale buses at the back and a miscellaneous red sports car. Those three items at the back are all relatively large and we get a good view of everything that's on display here. The trouble is this system falls down when everything that we're displaying uh, is of the same scale and I'll give you an example of that now. So now we've filled up our display shelf with 176 scale model buses and looking down on them we can quite reasonably see them fairly well but there's no getting away from the fact that the view is obscured and we're not really showing off our model collection in the best possible way. So I've got a little tip to help you get around that problem. Well, this really isn't the most high tech solution in the world, is it? A lump of two by four wood dropped onto the back of our shelf. Uh, and there we go. Uh, of course, this is just a, a demonstration for filming, but ideally we would paint this piece of wood and make it look a lot more attractive. It's exactly the same number of models as we've just seen. But you can see now that the view is much better. Slight rearrangement of the models on what has now become the lower deck of the shelf. And we get a far superior view. And our models, I think, certainly look as though they're uh, showing themselves off to their better, better qualities. Ultimately, of course, the best way forward is to drop a small diorama onto a shelf. Now this one might look a little bit odd, uh, this is actually my test track, it's just two one metre straight pieces of track. Um, one is N gauge which is the one nearest the camera and the furthest one is double O gauge. Uh, I did use this video, uh, this, this uh, test track for a video last year in how to apply model railway scenery and um, it runs from having no scenery at all right the way through gradual introductions of pieces of scenery until we get to the far end where we have some full scenery in place uh, but of course if you collect uh, model vehicles or model trains why not why not have a display area with more than one scale on and again uh, same principle as the lump of wood that I just demonstrated smallest stuff at the front larger stuff at the back and we could quite easily do it that way. So let's populate this small uh, diorama and see how it looks. So a couple of quite uh, odd variations of scale. We've got some double O gauge uh, stock here. We've reintroduced our N gauge uh, freight train. And just at the back there is a 176 scale bus making its way through the countryside. Um, quite pleasant to look at really and if you carried that scenery all the way along this baseboard you could actually have quite a nice display area for your models. There are drawbacks to putting models on shelves uh, and indeed on display cases that don't have fronts on them and that is that they get dirty. Uh, so you do need to be prepared to invest a little bit of time in cleaning your models especially if you wish to uh, retain maximum value for them on the second hand market of course. So there we are, that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. A few different ways to display your models, hopefully some information and some advice that you found useful. 
as always uh, please remember like comment and subscribe and if you hit the bell you'll get an alert every time we release a new video from the channel that's it for this one take care stay safe bye now from some blazing model world